All right, as I'm finishing off, looking at my reference and finishing off the direct part of the painting, I see that there's gaps and things that don't quite make sense in the spacing. And instead of just pretending it's all okay, I've lost my pressure sensitivity again. Ah. Go to window, go to brush priest. Brush settings. Make sure that that pin pressure is there. Turn up. Why are you messing with me? Sometimes tablets can give you a lot of problems with their, their functionality. Let me switch to a new brush and just remind you how we set up all that stuff. So I'm just going to use a standard one. I'll use one I created in fall 2020. You can see the shape of the brush there. But then I'm going to adjust its size. And then I'm going to, most importantly, adjust its brush settings. Turn on shape dynamics. Use pin pressure to control the size. Set the size jitter so the size isn't always the same. Up the minimum diameter a little bit, really flare out the angle and the roundness to cut it down. There we go. And now I have a brush again. So knowing how a brush works can help you always have a, a tool that makes sense. And I don't think there's anything more important with digital painting than being able to control your brush tools. Now, if I wanted to go more and more photorealistic with this, I would work with smaller and smaller brushes at lower opacities and refine everything. I could zoom in. It just depends what resolution you want. But here I'm going for a slightly more gestural, not as tight approach. But still trying to get those color notes and that movement in there. It doesn't take much to make things look shiny. Just little highlights catching the light every once in a while. All right, but I'll notice there's a lot of space here that isn't there in my original. And I can extend the beard of my pooch. But with digital, there's usually a step where you just kind of reassess and kind of move things around once you're happy with your refined painting. So I'm mostly happy. I've got all the elements here of the refined painting. Just certain things need to be tweaked and moved and then refined. And then, like all digital painting, I can just work over the top of that if I need to. So, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to turn off all my layers. that aren't my shape painting and my refined painting. Then I'm going to go to my topmost layer, hold down option and say layer merge visible. So I'm not erasing or flattening the layers I created. I'm just merging them together into a new layer. Here it is. With that new layer, I can adjust everything all at once. So I can erase things. I can look at, I don't even need to look at my reference because now I'm just going based on what I think looks right. I can take whole sections like this and duplicate them, kind of composite with your own paint, paint strokes, right? And stretch them a little bit bigger, maybe hold down shift, distort them a little bit. 
kind of work with this spacing. So I need to bring his shoulders up. I can take the whole thing and warp it. So the head's pretty good. I just need to push up the chest. And I know what my dog looks like. And actually, this is looking more like my dog than my composited reference photo, which is great. So all of these tweaks can make a, a big impact on your project overall. Now I'm going to work on the other shoulder. I just need to bring that up a little bit. It's going to take all of this. Duplicate it. Size it just a little bit. Move it in. There we go. Now those shoulders are sitting a little bit more believably. Not such a caricature. Now I'm going to merge all of those. This is different than holding down Option. I'm just going to select all of them, these new layers, and then just say, I can do Command E. But what that does is it just merges the layers without holding down Option. So it collapses them into one combined layer. There it is. And so it's the difference between this, which I had before, and this. And that makes a big difference. And sometimes seeing between the two makes you realize you want a little bit. Maybe I want to warp it a little bit back. And it's all kind of little adjustments. And I can keep all those layers kind of turned on because they help flush it out. They help fill in some of those little white spaces. And then there's things that need to be erased. So now I'm going to use my eraser. This is a new tool. I'm going to use it at 100%, but I can still use an interesting brush. And I can set the brush settings just like I would for my paintbrush. Makes a big difference. Go pretty fast here. I know what I like from my brushes. I need to unlock my shape painting layer and start erasing. And to help with this, I can turn on my gray background. So I can see the edges I'm creating. And when I erase, I erase at 100% first. In order to shape it, get rid of any kind of debris. Giving my dog a shave. And I'm going to increase this brush size and I'm going to kind of shape the painting. We don't need to worry about backgrounds for our digital painting project. And 
and I can go to my refine painting and then erase some of these. Well, what a brush can do. All right, so let's say that's my painting. Let's go nip and tuck it a little bit. So you can see all those brush strokes, how they all kind of layer up, give you the finish that you want. And you might have little random marks. You want to try it both on your gray background and on the white to kind of reveal what you're missing. I do want to lose all that. All right. Oh, there's some cloudiness there I want to get rid of. Okay, now. Let's try it with the white background. Nice and solid. Now I'm just going to go back to my top layer and I'm just going to start painting some final touches. Just refining some edges. Every once in a while having to go back to a race because I don't want to just paint with pure white because I want to be able to maybe put in a background later. And definitely thinking about shadows. What makes sense? especially as I've moved around little things like this. I need to then put in the shadows that make sense with it. And these edges that were cut out from my lasso, I don't want them to interfere with how it feels. And I might erase out other parts. Till it eventually all comes together. Okay, some last shadows. It's good to zoom out and kind of see what you've got. Not be too precious with it at the end. <laughs> 